In 1965 archaeologists in China discovered a perfectly preserved 2,400-year-old weapon. Central China 1965, a team of archaeologists are exploring a network of subterranean tombs. When they locate an ancient waterlogged casket prizing it open, the experts find a human skeleton. And a sealed wooden box and within that box is a sword, a beautifully crafted instrument that no one has set eyes on for some 2400 years. Swords have always been symbols of power, chivalry, strength, and masculinity. They also symbolize war. Warriors in many cultures use swords, and they have for centuries. Even mythical heroes such as King Arthur with Excalibur and Perseus. The Chinese have also used swords for centuries. This was proven when a group of archaeologists in central China explored a network of subterranean tombs in 1965. There they found a waterlogged casket that contained a human skull and a sealed wooden box. Inside the box was a carefully crafted sword that had been hidden for over 2400 years. The sword that they found was impressive. Its workmanship was sublime, and the physical properties were incredible. Its discovery allowed historians to take a look at the ancient world from which it came. It was discovered during a survey of the Jiang River Reservoir's second aqueduct in the city of Jingzhou. The area is 2000 years old, and it has an illustrious history. The kingdom lasted 411 years and saw 20 kings during this time. While investigating the area, a series of 50 tombs were discovered. The tombs were hidden since the Qiu era until the digging began in 1965. In total, the team recovered over 2,000 artifacts. While investigating a section of aqueduct in the Zhangling County, the archaeologist discovered a series of 50 tombs apparently constructed during the Chu era and so in October 1965 they commenced digging. Over the next three months, the team would then go on to recover a haul of more than 2,000 artifacts containing the Sword of Gao Jian was discovered in a tomb situated about 4.3 miles from the ruined city of Ying. The newly discovered sword attracted international media attention and was arguably the most important discovery of the entire dig. The sword it transpired was forged during the so-called spring and autumn period, this was a time in the history of China that lasted from 771 to 476 BC. The name meanwhile comes from a set of records written during this time that describe the affairs of the state of Lu, known as the Spring and Autumn Annals. These records contain accounts of major events in the region such as battles, marriages, demises and rituals. The Spring and Autumn period began in 771 BC with the destruction of housing the capital of Western Zhao defeated by the Quanrong. The Zhao king escaped to the east and founded the Eastern Zhao dynasty in the capital of Luyi. However, his power over the region was far from absolute, in order to hold his empire together. The Zhao king had relatives and loyal generals manage parcels of it as their own fiefdoms which then gradually evolved into separate states. The period was marked by ongoing technological developments particularly in the production of weapons. Some fine swords were designed and forged during this era often, over a number of years and the start of Gaojian was one such weapon itself. A product of tremendous skill and labor, the sword of Gaojian is 21.9 inches long and weighs just a little under 31 ounces. Tapering to a pointed tip, its blade is 1.8 inches in width at its base and the hilt or handle of the sword measures some 3.3 inches long. Meanwhile the surface of the blade on both sides is etched with diamond patterns and the hilt is lightly embellished with blue stones. It has silk bindings and its rounded pommel consists of some 11 circles, that share the same center. Great care was seemingly taken in the design and construction of the sword but what makes the weapon truly special is its remarkable state of preservation. Despite having spent more than 2000 years in a water-soaked tomb, it was discovered completely untarnished as well as being deadly sharp. Indeed researchers found it quite capable of slicing through a pile of 20 sheets of paper. The sword's airtight sheath helped protect it from the elements, its metallurgical composition also contributed to its longevity. 
The blade consists mainly of copper bestowing it with flexibility but the edges contain extra tin which gives them an enduring sharpness. Traces of sulfur throughout also reportedly help to protect it against darnishing. As for the owner of the sword, well he's named specifically in two columns of engraved script on both sides of the blade. The writing is a type of seal script known as bird worm, after the fuzzy strokes that define its characters. Seal script derived from so-called oracle bone script and was in popular use through the spring and autumn period. The inscriptions of the sword reveal then that it once belonged to a local king. The words do not specify exactly which king, According to the inscription, the sword belonged to the local king, King of Yue. It is believed that the sword was made for his personal use. Unfortunately, the sword didn't specify which king the sword belonged to. There were nine different kings who ruled during this time, and researchers have different theories as to who the sword belonged to, 